What's up guys, this is Jacob Burton from Jacob Burton Studios coming at you today with another reaction video. Today I am really in the Christmas spirit. I am reacting to Tori Kelly singing Oh Holy Night. For all of you Tori Kelly stands, just so you know, I am one of you. I have seen her live in concert. She's probably one of the greatest singers of our generation, and I cannot wait to react to this video today. Before we dive in, if you like reaction videos, if you like getting professional feedback from vocal coaches in the industry, make sure and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to stay connected with you and keep you posted on all the latest content coming out of Jacob Burton Studios. Okay, let's dive on it. <laughs> Reese, has gone Reese Witherspoon, what? The Billboard charts, and now this. Please welcome singer, songwriter <laughs> yeah, Tori wait, Kelly. I know she hasn't even started to sing yet, but I have to react. Did she just say welcome? <laughs> like Irma Gerd? Like, oh my God. Who spiked Reese's eggnog? What's going on? What's going on on this show? What is this? NBC, ABC? What, 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 what are we doing? What's going on? This is crazy. Okay, so Reese. Might be a little tipsy. You know what? She's in the Christmas spirit. Let's go. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Mm. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. The devil never stops, y'all. I don't know what these bombs are trying to disrespect Toriana Grande, Tori Carey, Tori Dion, Tori Kelly. I don't know what these bombs are, but they're disrespectful. But if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. The devil never stops. Let's talk about some of the things that she's doing so far. So what she's doing right now is she's very strategically using her vibrato. She's using her vibrato in a unique way to make sure that this song feels maybe a little more epic, a little more dramatic. This is a ballad. This is a type of song that we like to belt. This is the type of song you would hear in church and you hear done usually in a very epic or dramatic arrangement. And she's definitely making sure that her voice is meeting the moment. So how is she using her vibrato? Well, she's using it a little bit just regularly, just singing with vibrato, but she's also stalling it. So a stalling your vibrato is when you go shining, where you first hit the note straight and then you lean into a vibrato. So we're hearing her do that a little bit and it creates some tension, it creates some dynamic, it creates this question of, you know, what's gonna happen next with this note. What I love about Tori Kelly and what any Tori Kelly fan loves is that she is such an incredible storyteller and controller of her voice. Controller of her voice. <laughs> she has such impeccable control of her instrument more so than most singers that you're gonna ever hear. She tells every single note where to go and what it's supposed to do. That's a very special skill. And her mixed voice is what dreams are made of. So uh, we're already hearing her really begin to let the story grow from a nice, intimate, kind of tender place. I can't wait to see what happens next. Hopefully there's no more bomb noises going off because the angelic voice of Tori Kelly that came from the third heaven ain't gonna have that. Okay, let's go. Till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope. The weary world rejoices for yonder praise. A new and glorious morn. Oh, he 
guys, now I'm just gonna pause it there. That top note was a B, and that is right on the female bridge. So this little area can be difficult for female singers to just really easily flow throughout, but Tori's mixed voice is so locked in that she's basically eliminated her bridge. Sure, we all are gonna have a vocal bridge in our voice, no matter what, but when we eliminate it enough, we really don't experience it, even though technically it's there. So she's able to just flow right through those notes with that strong of a sound and that ease of access to the notes, and it sounds like nothing. It sounds like very easy. In a lot of ways, a B or an A can be trickier for girls to sing than like a higher note like a D or even like an F sometimes when their mixed voice is locked in. So this ease that we're hearing here, it might just sound like, oh, just that's just Tori being Tori. <laughs> and it is, but I wanna give credit where credit's due. That is really tricky what she's doing so far. And I'm sure she's about to do even more with the kind of big high note that's about to come at the end of this song. So let's see what happens next. deserve you, Tori. I mean, she's just amazing. So I think that top note, that top note is a D. With a voice like hers, that's probably not a very hard note to hit. Again, when her mix is as locked in as it is, but still, she makes it count. It's not just hitting the note, it's how we hit the note. If people can hit all the high notes in the world, but they don't sound good on them, what, what does it matter? Every note that Tori Kelly sings, she sounds amazing on. Whether it be a low note, a note in the middle of her range or a high note. She is here to slay. <laughs> that was an incredible performance and that's probably one of my favorite Christmas songs of all time. I, I joke that it's the national anthem of Christmas. <laughs> well, this is my reaction. I hope that you guys enjoyed it today. If so, make sure and hit that subscribe button to follow along from all the latest content coming out of Jacob Burton Studios.